back for video two of this Thunder Laser Nova 35 assembly. So we're going to connect up each individual item here and get it all working. Okay, this is the standard six inch or 150 millimeter uh, inline blower or exhaust fan that is used with the standard thunder laser but because I have a air purification system I'm going to bypass this I probably won't use it at all maybe I use it on the other end but I'm just going to connect this straight into the bottom of the pure air system okay so how I get these types of things on they can be a little difficult is get your clamp and make sure it's wide enough to slip easily over the trunk in okay and then just hook it on at the bottom like that and splay it out and work it on and just stretch it slightly like this and you'll find with a little bit of patience like this you'll be able to get it all the way on like this just work it on don't be in a hurry to do it and it's all the way on get the clamp up And I find it easy to use one of these. Good solid fit on there. Airtight. Got to make sure that is airtight too. And it's a, it's a good fit. So there we go. So now I'm going to connect it into the bottom of the pure air system. And uh, much of the same really. So that's the exhaust taken care of and it goes up then into the attic and circulates around the workshop. Okay so this is the 230 or 240 mains input into the pure air system. There's a lug at the top there which matches with a lug there and it's as simple as that so let's go and switch it on see how loud it is okay so this is totally isolated from the laser itself so I'll switch it on pretty quiet. Uh, that's at, uh, uh, it's reading in uh, RPM, so that's 1500 RPM. I'm sure it'll go a lot faster than that. Even a full bore it's still fairly quiet. That's a big difference to what I'm used to. Nice gentle airflow through there. Of course when you're cutting something you, you want this wound up a bit more. Okay, so that's working. So the next thing I want to do is, well get at the keys here and the handle for the front door I can also take the 
tie off for the honeycomb. Well, they make sure nothing moves in here and when they're shipping it. Oh, that is a beautiful, solid cast aluminium handle. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. Okay, so we'll get that on next. Very, very good heavy duty handle. I've never seen one as heavy as this. So these are the keys for all the different doors on your laser. Uh, and in the package of keys, you'll get a card with some measurements in millimeters and also in fractions in millimeters. Now, engineers have tested this thunder laser prior to dispatch. And these are the numbers that go in for the offset. Okay? In the programs that you use that you use with the laser. In this case you can either use Adiworks or you can use Lightburn. And I will show you where to put these numbers in both of those programs. I will be doing tuition on Adiworks and Lightburn. So uh, you get the best of both worlds. In addition I will point out that's a NEMA 23 hybrid servo drive. If you notice the extension on the back, inside that extension there, there's a module that senses the angle of the rotor. And it feeds, it feeds information back to the driver. So the driver and the, the stepper motor talk to each other like these the 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 driver was sent a command to turn so many degrees the motor turns so many degrees and sends a, a message back to the driver saying well okay I've turned that much what's the next command and the idea of that is if for example, you are running too fast and the hybrid stepper motor loses time then, or loses steps, it'll send a message back to the driver saying, oh, hold on, I'm not, I'm not quite caught up. And the driver, if necessary, will send a command to the control unit saying, stop the program, there's a problem. And using these type of hybrid servo drives enables this laser to operate at a thousand millimeters a second. That's very, very fast. It's an industrial laser. And while we're talking about hybrid servo drives, this is a, a very very modern laser unit. The gantry is very very thick extruded aluminium and very straight very precise. Not only that the hardened steel rails which is normally called linear rails is incorporated into this aluminium extrusion. So it's lighter and stronger and more durable and it's virtually 
kept dry. I tend to use a Teflon based lubricant, dry lubricant on this and uh, never any trouble. So uh, we'll go into more detail about the makeup of the Thunder Laser Nova 35 as we progress with the videos. Thank you.